It's a beautiful morning. It's supposed to be 60 or so today and windy. And then I think 50s tomorrow and the next day the high is only like 30 and the low is 19, something like that. So it's day two of the spray foam. And uh, they're spraying, I got nothing to do. So I'll probably be working on videos, um, doing paperwork, getting close to tax season. Got to organize all that. Uh, when you run your own business, man, you got a lot of extra stuff to do. But I went through last night and uh, put some spray paint on all of the areas that I thought needed to be hit again. Um, I'm sure the workers are not going to like that because there's quite a lot. But we'll see what they say when they get here. Yesterday they got here at 9 o'clock and then they sat around and waited for the other crew with the actual spray foam didn't get started until closer to um, 11 or so. But I didn't really mark anything up there. I really can't get up there and it looks like it's pretty consistently close to that five inches. But in the upstairs area mark quite a lot anywhere there's an orange spot there's areas I want them to get a little thicker I should probably come back and mark that right there too and right there I'll grab my paint and hit a few more but before they get here but I've got marks all over the place of areas that are definitely not five inches so this is the area where this is only three and a half inch wall I'm supposed to have five inches I mean, that's I only have an inch right there so, you can see I got marks all over the place as far as where I want them to hit it again. Just like this throughout the whole house. Hopefully they can come through and they'll be nice about it and just do it, but we'll see. Got them all down there too. Anyways, saw a couple spots. I did this last night in the dark with my flashlight, so I'm going to have to come through now and hit it again but I mean this is concerning in some of these areas because like that one I reached my hand way back into that void so there's a spot right there too so I'm gonna grab my spray paint and shoot a little more so I think I'm noticing here as you see in there there's this bubble and it blows out down here and it comes in way up there so I've seen some of these around the place where the foam expands and goes bleh, and basically burps and blows a big hole in it. Some of these holes I found go all the way to the uh, um, all the way to the sheeting, which is not good. So I got marks; they're all over the place. But hey. You know, you pay for five inches. I want five inches. I don't want three inches here, and five and a half there, and two inches over here. I mean, I want a consistent five inches, damn it. You know, if I run a level across here and measure back, that's probably a little over an inch. But uh, some of these areas are pretty bad. One thing you're supposed to look out for is separation where the foam didn't adhere to the wall. So right there is a good example of that. You can see where that is not um, stuck itself to the wall, it's pulled away. And that's supposed to be a sign of, see that in there too? That's supposed to be a sign of uh, the formula not being consistent out there. Can't tell. They've got little guns too that may go through and fill those with just the um, little spray foam guns, handheld guns that they have. But... Uh, this guy's gonna be pissed. 
and come back like, God damn, dude, marked every single one of our walls. <laughs> like, well, you know, do it right the first time. Okay, that's a two by four wall up there, and that is not thick enough. I'm gonna see the ladder get up there and spray that. But there looks great. That's like really thick. For the most part. All right, you'll get a ladder. Well, I think I'm done marking the bathroom. <laughs> I think I've put enough spots on there. Uh, I really hope when these guys get here today, they don't look at this and they're just pissed. <laughs> Cause... But you know, up here at the top, you can see where it's pulled away from the uh, from the uh, top plate there. You know, it's like there's little areas. I probably should spray that one right there too. But um. Hoping they come through, just shoot it, and then heck up here, you know, right in that crack there, I can see the uh, outside wall. So, and the same thing right there. So it's like that's not even close to five inches. So, oh, we'll see. Hopefully, they'll be cool about it. So, oh, oh, the down cat. God, everyone's out here hanging outside the camper, huh? So at the end of day two of the spray foam, and I've been inside the camper pretty much all day working on paperwork and stuff like that. And I came out an hour ago just to kind of take a peek. There's only two guys working today on this. Yesterday there were six. And, um had quite a surprise when I came to take a look at how it was going. So the first thing I noticed was this wall. This wall was not supposed to be insulated. <laughs> this was, uh, this wasn't supposed to be insulated. This is an, in, an interior wall. So we had all of our exterior walls, of course. The uh, garage was up there, so that was supposed to be done. And all these exterior walls are garage walls. We wanted to make sure we sealed off any uh, air infiltration from the garage or smells or things like that. Um, this wall was not part of the plan. So I thought, well, we got a bonus there. I walked out and I saw this and this was supposed to be done. Those walls are supposed to be done. Everything's looking good. Came out of here, I saw all that's looking good. And there's a guy here working and I glanced up. <laughs> Oh my God, they foamed the whole first floor ceiling. That was not part of the plan. This is a big ceiling. This is like 1,200. This is probably, I guess, take out those. It's around 1,000 square feet of um, foam. Plus the wall, that's this wall right here that wasn't supposed to be foamed. That's a lot of foam. That's probably three, three to 5,000 maybe, 4,000 worth of foam that they did they didn't have to do um it's going to make things harder on me now i'm really glad that i got these pipes in ahead of time um because i've been cutting out a lot of stuff i haven't checked them for leaks though so i guess that's something oh and i just realized that he covered up my my whole oh he covered up the hole for the uh, tub or the shower upstairs um I'm really glad I ran that gas line up and over and down because that would have been a real mess, but we still have wiring to do. You know, not, none of these lights are hooked up in here yet. Again, we just we just got power to the outside. Um, I missed a couple cells there, but we only did power to the outside so we could um, get the foaming done. And <clears throat> yeah, that's something else. So running the wires isn't going to be a big deal, but you know, the, uh, one of the ranges is going to sit right here. I've got to get duct work out into that pipe over there. So I may have to shave some of this out to get through. <clears throat> I'm going to have to get, um, the, well, the ERV vent won't be an issue because the ERV is going to come through right there. But, uh, the air conditioning to, uh, Barry's room. I'm going to have to 
cut through some there. I plan on coming through that wall up top and then popping out. So I don't know. It'll be interesting. Um, not part of the plan, but you know, I was telling Natalie about it. And um, I said, well, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's not necessarily a good thing either because now this, all the vapors in this lower level are, are trapped down here. Um, I mean, we have separate heating and cooling systems between the floors anyway, so it may be fine, but it's gonna be quite a, a difference between the first floor and the second floor. And holy cow, it is such a mess through here right now. I really hope there's more than two guys coming out tomorrow. But as you can tell from my earlier video, the spots that I had spray painted, um, they did go through and they did hit everything. Um, there was a hole right there that they've got taken care of. So I have a trip falling over all this stuff. So I didn't get, uh, well, I guess they'd get up in there. Must have got up and walked along the ceiling. So that's good to see. I want to make sure he didn't hit that. That's good. They stay away from that pipe. So that collar around the top, that is the um, um, heat shield for the exhaust from the pellet stove, just a four inch pipe. <clears throat> they got pretty far. He was definitely spraying a lot thicker up here today. You know, is that five inches, but some of that up there is definitely gonna be thicker than five inches. So again, that's my first time ever doing spray foam. So I guess what I could suggest to anyone is that if you have a two by six wall and the guy quotes you five inches of foam, just say, why don't we just make it five and a half inches and they just fill the whole cell up. <laughs> because then what you should get when they're done would be something smooth like this. You know, I know this is exactly five and a half inches. I know this is not. You know, some of this is dips in like we talked about before. You know, there's some of these holes and blowouts and things like that. This is so soft. Um, but anyways, that way you know that when you look at your walls and they're perfectly smooth, that you have exactly five and a half inches and there's no question about it. Um, I am noticing though in the attic space that, that they really pumped, they really pumped it up in there. That's a, uh, I got more than five and a half or five inches up there. Holy cow. Oh wow. Uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. That's probably a foot. That's really thick. Maybe. I don't know, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell now that everything's up in there. That's probably not, that's probably more like eight inches, but that's, that's pretty thick. I don't pack it up in there good. Got a couple spots they need to hit still, but for the most part, definitely sounds different, definitely feels different in here. The smell is not too bad. And we're of course gonna let it air out a bit more before they um, get back in here. But, um, The wind is howling outside. I can barely hear it. It's crazy. So anyways, we just got a whole bunch of foam for free. I told the guy I wasn't paying for it. And he said that, no, it was their mistake. And, you know, they're going to have to deal with it. So he's, <laughs> I don't know what to say. He was uh, downstairs. Or he was upstairs shaving walls. And the guy was downstairs and he was just going to town, spraying everything he saw. How it goes. Down here herding chickens. I think I have food for them. And I give me treats, give me treats. If I run a little bit, stop, they all run with me. <laughs> now they're mad. I'm gonna 
there, right over here. <laughs> you guys are funny. Alright, time to go to bed.